Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Town of Tewksbury Zoning Board of Appeals. Today is August 25th, 2020, and uh, we're going to start the meeting. First on the agenda is the approval of the meeting minutes for June 30th, 2022 and July 28th, 2022. I'm open for minutes from June 30th, 2022 and also July 28th, 2022. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next on the agenda is the continued hearing for Tammy Chow for variance under Section 5.3.1 E3 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for a side yard setback to build a 12 by 24 detached garage as shown on plans filed with. This board, said property is located at 180 Salem Road, Assessor's Map 95, Lot 150, Zoned Residential. And this was continued from 728-2022. Hello. Hello. Name and address, please, for the board. Uh, Tammy Chow, and my address is 180 Salem Road in Tewksbury. Oh, Tammy, can you tell me what you're trying to do, please? So I'm trying to build a detached garage uh, on my property for storing my car and parking it. So I'm looking at it, it's right here? Yes, it is. That's it. So the house garage, I mean, it's just eight feet instead of 10. Yeah. It's not wide enough though, seven and a half there. Sure. Yeah, it's How close is your neighbor on that side? To the right side, um, about from the garage, from the house. From the property line. Um, I'd say I, it was over 10 feet from the, the property line. Mm -hmm. well, you got a 10 foot, you got a 10 foot easement. Mm -hmm. It's five on five on each side, so I have five and he has five. Okay, so, so you, your neighbor's house or, or the first structure that way on the neighbor's side. How close is it to their property line? You know, roughly, give or take? I'd say it's between 10 and 15 feet out of it. I hope it's more than 10 because they'd be here with us. What's the reason for not putting it on the other side? The lawn is there. There's also a bunch of trees in front of that area. The driveway is more conducive to having it on the, the right-hand side of my house as opposed to the left. Do you have a driveway now? Yes, I do. It's the kind of brick, odd long figure in the front of the house. It's a semicircular driveway, and then on the right side is the ex driveway extension that pushes back against the house. Explain that driveway to me again. <laughs> It's a semicircular in the front. Yep. And then that area where the garage is located, that's currently driveway on my property. Okay. It's kind of drawn out. See it? I can see it. I just couldn't understand what you were yeah, saying. Yeah, it wasn't either until she missed it.
Well, board, do you have anything else? Any other questions, Dan? I have one question. I might uh, on the proposed uh, diagram, or actually the, the etching of the of the building. Which way is that the side door? And where, does it open up? Does it open up towards the neighbor's property? Does it open up towards your towards building? my house? Towards, towards my your side. home. Okay. Yep. Joe, any questions? I don't know. All right. Being a public hearing, uh, is there anybody here who'd like to speak on this? Right. Gentlemen, is there anything else you want to add? Is that the right uh, section that she should be getting a variance from? Maybe. Well, look. The variance should be the side yard setback, right? Is that what is it? Well, they're calling it an accessory structure. Detach accessories. E3, that's correct. Now they changed the numbers and it's a little bit confusing now, right? But so it's still under the general requirements, right? And then it is under E3, section E and 3. Okay. So yeah, that's right. That's the right request. Somebody want to make a motion to close? I have one more question. Okay. What um, what stopped you from moving it closer to the house? The driveway is at an awkward kind of location where, in order to pull in to the to the garage itself, it needed to be a certain distance away, and then I think moving it closer to the the house, it would have to be. It was just like the location of it didn't really work with in terms of like pulling in and out of my car. Someone want to make a motion to close? Who's, who are the voting members? Oh, the voting for? members on this one is myself, Joe, and Mike. Um, somebody would like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing? I'll, make, I'll move to close both parts of the hearing, public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, Joe or Mike, could you make a motion? All right, I'll make a motion for a variance on the section uh, 5.3.1 E3 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for a side yard setback to build a 12 by 24 uh, detached garage as shown in the plans filed by the board. The property is located at 180 Salem Road, Assessor's Map 95, Lot 150, zoned residential. Joe, do you want to second that? Yeah, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
in February. Yep, trying to. Okay. Next on the agenda for new hearings is Ambassador Pools on behalf of Peter and Melissa Gagnon for variance under section 5.3.1 E3 for of the Tewksbury zoning bylaw for front yard setback for previous installed above Grula pool as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 1042 East Street, Assessor's Map 103, Lot 79, zoned residential. And the voting members on this one will be Rob, Dan, and Mike. Name and address for the board, please. Um, hello, my name is Jennifer Abate, A-B-A-T-E, and I'm the new permit coordinator um, at Ambassador Pools located in Canton, Massachusetts. I'm here today representing my company and the Gagnon residents at 1042 East Street in Tewksbury, Mass. We're here today seeking a variance for a 16 by 24 above ground pool my company had installed last season without a permit. Uh, we installed this pool in the front setback of this home. Your, sec your town bylaw states we need to be behind this. We hope the variance can be granted today due to the very odd shaped lot this parcel is. This parcel is a triangle. All of the properties on this street are square and rectangular. Um, if, if the gaggers want to introduce themselves or I could go on with maybe one more. That's fine. Info. It's up to you. Good. Good. I'm Melissa Gagnon, 1042 East Street. And I'm Mike Labrie, Melissa Gagnon's fiance, 1042 East Street as well. And Zach Gag Zach Labrie as well. <laughs> Hi, Zach. Um, there was a huge disconnect here. My company dropped the ball big time, and uh, we installed the pool without going through their proper processes here. I'm here to, today to clean up this mess uh, for the homeowners especially. On J in June, the Gagnon residents reached out for permitting help due to receiving a code violation in the mail. They called our Canton office and I started this permit variance packet process for them. The permit coordinator, Jose, assigned to this permit last season is no longer employed with us at our company for reasons such as this. We started the building permit process for the Gagnons in September of 2021 and did not follow through, leaving the homeowners and my company at risk. Um, so I'm here today to ask for a variance to keep the pool in the, in the front of the property. Um, at the end of the day, we want the Gagnons to be happy with the pool. We want the neighbors, the abutters, everybody to be okay with this. At the end of the day, our pools are movable. Are or not? They are. So we hope at the end of the day, the pool can stay in the same spot it is now. But... We're here to take recommendations from you today. the pool been up last year you said yeah was it until since last October on the plot plan the pool is is the square that's sitting right in front of the house and the yard is completely fenced in as well yeah where the pool is it's completely fenced in what type of fence is there it's is it um one of the wood Picket fences. Okay. Is the pool visible from the street when you drive by? Barely. Okay. You can just see there's a fence around the deck of the pool because it's an above ground. There's you can see some of the white fencing, maybe like this much of it. Mm -hmm. When you go for a permit, do you just do the building permit or do you do all of it? Do so do my company will do the building permit. We don't do the electrical. We do the building permit, and then, if need be, 
zoning, health department, and, and so forth. But we do all the building side aspects. So you applied for a permit, or well, Jose applied for a permit. Yes. Was denied. Yes. Yes. In September, I think September 13th, um, the building department admin and him were going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Was denied. Yep. Put the pool up anyways. Did you have an electrician wire it? Yeah, so that's when, because I had asked Jose for a copy of the pool permit, and he never got back to me, and I have a couple emails where I reached out, but he never got back to me. So then in the spring, in May, when I started the electrical portion of it, and the electrician came down to do the work, that's when we figured out we actually didn't have the permit. Um, and so that's when we started this process because we because they installed the pool and we paid and filled out permit applications we assumed that they wouldn't install it without that well you're the homeowner you hired a company to do it you expected it to be done yeah and so um, unfortunately i just assumed he wasn't getting back to me with the copy of the permit but i assumed they had gotten the yeah. permit when you say may do you mean may of last year or may of this year so May of this year is when the electrician came, and that's when I found out that the pool that was installed in October was not permitted, um, because the electrician is, went for a separate permit, and then you guys said, wait a minute, what pool? Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. So are you using the pool? We are. Okay. No blame, it's been hot. Questions? Any questions? Uh, it being an open hearing, is there anybody here who'd like to speak on this? Okay. Somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd like to make a motion to approve Ambassador Pools on behalf of Peter and Melissa Gagnon for variance under Section 5. Dot three dot one e three of the Tewksbury zoning bylaw for a front yard setback for a previously installed above ground pool as shown on panels filed with this board. Said property is located at ten forty two E Street. Assessor's map one hundred three lot seventy nine zoned residential. All Second. in favor? Aye. I'm sorry. Okay. Second, and then all in favor. Aye. 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 You're approved. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. I would suggest making sure. Um, you do all the right permits now. Okay. You know, make yeah, sure the electrician gets a permit. That. Make sure it's inspected. Okay. You don't want to get in Correctly. Okay. Thank you. Lesson learned on following up on contractor work. Yep. <laughs> it's a hard lesson to learn. Yes. It's not your fault. Thank you. Really appreciate it. No, I know. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> okay. Next on the agenda. Joe Bauscher for a variance under section 5.3.2 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for a side setbacks and lot coverage and a special permit under section 8.1.1C to alter a previous non-conforming structure in order to construct a 24 by 22 garage with an 8 by 10 breezeway addition as shown on plans filed with the board said property is located at 6 Memorial Drive assessor's map 99 lot 34 zoned residential name and address for the board please Joseph Boucher 6 Memorial Drive in Tewksbury Linda Boucher 6 Memorial Drive Tewksbury thank you can you talk about what you're trying to do here please um, well basically we just essentially want a garage to uh, Help me in the winter time when I'm trying to clean the snow off the car. I, I've fallen several times now, and <clears throat> last time was was a good fall. <laughs>
you're looking to be 4.84 feet off your sideline. Yes. And 38 feet off your front line. Mm-hmm. A little better than eight and a half feet between the house and the garage? Uh, yeah, approximately. Give or take 8.71? Something like that. Something like that. The neighbor on that side? Uh, yes, Joyce. Uh, yes. David Joyce. How um, how close is their house to their property line? Uh, their house is uh, eight, eighteen feet. Okay. So you're looking at twenty-two feet between structures. Mm -hmm. Give or take. Single-story garage, no bathroom, no plumbing, no heat. No. Lights on a roof. What? Lights on a roof. Keep your car out of the snow. Exactly. Foundation or footing? Um. Well, I imagine it would be a foundation. No foundation. Yeah, we've lived in the house for 49 years. We want to continue to live there. Get some of the plow now that we're getting older. Snow's not getting any lighter? No. No, it's not. And we're getting older. I understand. It's not getting any lighter for me either. <laughs> okay, and the voting members on this is Joe, myself, and Dan. Just in case I haven't mentioned it, which I don't think I did. What were you asking about, Joyce? David Joyce and Kelly Joyce, those are your neighbors? Yes. What I was asking was how close the house was. Yes. What was the answer? You said about 18 feet. Give it and then it's the house? 18 feet and then it's their house? Your neighbor? What, what, what about it? Yeah, David and Kelly Joyce, you said 18 feet from I, where? I'd say about eight. From the property line? From the property line. Yeah, they've already agreed with with, yeah, with what we want to do. We've discussed it with them. Okay. Anything else you guys want to ask? Mm -hmm. Somebody want to close? Oh, um, it being a public hearing, is there anybody here that'd like to speak on this? No. Move mm -hmm. to close the public hearing. Both sides. Both parts. Both sides. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. You want to make a motion, somebody? Make this sure. one is Joe, myself, and Dan. Make sure you do more. Well three There's of them. three of them. Special permit first. Yep. Yep. So I make a motion um, for Joseph Boucher for a variance under Section 5.3.2. You got to do the special permit first. So we for um, for a special permit under. Do you see that, where it breaks off in the next sentence? Because we have to do those separately. Uh, I'll start with the special part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I make a motion for a special permit under section 8.1.1C to alter a previous non-conformance structure in order to construct a 24 by 22 garage with an eight by 10 breezeway addition as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at 6 Memorial Drive, Cessna's Map 99, Lot 34, Zone Residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, you were approved. You. Oh, wait, we got one more to go. Two more to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. I make a motion for Joseph Boucher for a variance under Section 5.3.2 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaws for setbacks on the lot coverage. Do I continue reading that on that? Uh, all the way through? Um, 
in order to construct. Sorry. Third line down. Yep, in order to construct a uh, 24 by 22 garage with an 8 by 10 breezeway addition as shown on plans filed mm -hmm. with the board. Said property located Six Memorial Drive. Assessors map 99 lot 34 zone residential. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, there's one more you need to throw in there. Oh, no. It's the same one. Five, three, 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 two residential. Five, three. So it. you need to do the other one. I think we did the, it's another special permit though, isn't it? No? It's two variances. Over 20%, closing to 15 feet. Do we, need, do we need to approve the third one? Isn't it captured in the first one? It's the same section. <coughs> first three side and lot coverage, it says. Side yet, side back and lot coverage. Okay. That's how it's written in the thing. Is that the third one here? It's to approve side yard, yard setbacks and lot coverage. Right, that last one you read, section 5.3.2. Yep. Okay. Right, so we just approved that one. Covered it. Mm -hmm. okay. You are approved. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. You. Thank you. Good Thank you. Next is Carl Jonas Rosland for a variance under Section 5.3.2 of Tuxbury Zoning Bylaw for side yard setbacks and a special permit mm -hmm. under Section 8.1.1.C to alter a previously non-conforming structure to order, in order to construct a 21 uh, nine by 12 deck as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at five Tango Road, Sessors map, lot, uh, Sessors map 110, lot 22, zoned residential. Voting members is Mike, Rob, and myself. Oh, I also have um, some clarification documents. Okay. Thank you, Burr. Thank you. This, uh, the are already there. Thank you. It's just uh, initial Thank you. Uh, the Thank you. Okay. Uh, and when you have a seat, could I have your name and address for the board, please? My name is Carl Jonas Rosland. I go by Jonas. I live at 510 Road in here in Tuxpan. Can you speak on what you're doing, please? Yeah, sure. We moved into our house about four years ago, and during the home inspection, we were told that the, the deck that was already there um, would need a replacement uh, within a few years. And we, um, <clears throat> we saw this spring that it was essentially falling apart and becoming dangerous for uh, me, my wife, and my three-year-old kid. Uh, we had a contractor come out and they saw that the, uh, <clears throat> the fasteners were all rusted through, uh, the wood started to deteriorate, so we said, okay, let's, uh, let's fix it. Um, we, uh, we've been using this, this contractor for a few other jobs as well. We uh, figured we didn't need a permit, first of all. Uh, we didn't think we need a permit. We needed a permit because it was a replacement. We've learned that we obviously needed a permit, so now we're here um, because we and we Initially bought it in 2018. I attached a uh, the mortgage plot plan in, in the application. And you can see that the plot plan is not correct compared to the new plot plan, uh, one version uh, of which I gave you right now. Um, so the old plot plan showed that the entire wooden deck was within the lot. Uh, the new plot plan shows that it is not. So what I would like to do is to be able to build up to the lot line. Uh, that is my request.
How close is the, your house to the property line? Uh, you know, on the uh, the plot plan, it says four feet. That's the closest. The house was built in 84. And the town owns the land next to you? Yes. It's roughly 100 feet from our lot line to the next neighbor. And we're in the process of trying to purchase that part of um, that land uh, from the town. Talking to Stephen Sadwick and uh, um, Taj Engineering, and then Attorney Plunkett. So is the deck built already? Uh, so it's half built. Uh, and then you got the notice. Yeah, exactly. Is the deck original with the house? Do you know? Sorry, what? Is that deck built originally with the house? Do you know? uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. um, but I believe it was not. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it has been there for between 20 and 25 years at least. Okay. And then this submitted this p picture here? Yeah. That's, that was on your mo mortgage application? Exactly. And, and that's not tr uh, correct? Yeah, if you compare that to the uh, the later one, uh, one it is yeah. wildly incorrect. The original one? Okay. Yeah, so we were going on the assumption that that was correct, uh, but it was not. Okay. So now we're just trying to do it the right way. The side on the side of the house where the walkway for the deck is, mm -hmm. that's the side that Tooksbury owns the property. Yes. And you said it's a hundred feet in that roughly direction to the next house. Yeah, roughly a hundred feet. Yeah. Uh, I believe you can see that on uh, the uh, map I printed out from the, the GIS as well. Um, it should be in there. You can see the the next door neighbor. Uh, well, next door being not quite next door. And you're in the process of purchasing that land we're, from, we're looking from the at town? how we can do that. Um, that's the plan, yes. We're we're hoping we can finish that purchase sometime next year. Nice. So the application is asking for a special permit in the variance. Setbacks, right? Yeah, 5.3.2. 5.3.2. Yeah, setbacks. It's all the ones that we just do, the same ones, 5.3.2s. So side yard setbacks. <clears throat> four feet from the property line or closer? Um, the house you said was four feet from the property line? Yes, exactly. So it's even, it's two feet yeah, from exactly. the property line? So, so four feet or closer, yes. All right. And on the plot plan, that X, that's where you went over the Tewksbury line and, you, and you're and you no longer doing that? Exactly, okay. exactly. So the, the X marks the, the part of the deck that was built that will remove. It was removed? Uh, it, it will be removed will because be right removed. now we have a stop work order. We don't want to do anything. Um, so we're going to remove that as soon as we are able to uh, and restore it back to what it was, which is essentially just glass. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, mean, I, 
I understand the I understand the variance. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure on the special permit. Existing non-conforming. Because it's pre it's already built. No, because the house is four feet away from the property line. Oh, all right. And the house was built in 1984. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good too. It being an open hearing, is anybody here to speak on it? On this? No? Okay. I'll make a motion to close both parts in the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The voting members on this is Mike, Rob, and Dan. Not myself, sorry. It's Mike, Rob, and Dan. I'd like to make a motion to approve Kyle Jonas Rosslyn for a special permit under section 8.1.1.C to alter a previously non-conforming structure in order to construct a 21 foot 9 inch by 12 foot deck. As shown on plans filed with this board, said property is located at 5 Tanger Road. I probably said that wrong. Assessor's map 110, lot 22, zoned residential. Second. Well in favor. Aye. 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 I'd like to make a second motion for Kyle Jonas Roslin for a variance under section 5.3.2 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for side setbacks to alter a previously non-conforming structure in order to construct a 21 foot 9 inch by 12 foot deck as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 5 Tanager that, Road, Assessors Map 110, Lot 22, Zone Residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You're approved? Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Next on the agenda, Tewksbury Home Build on behalf of the Town of Tewksbury for a special permit under Section 8.1.1C of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw to construct or reconstruct a previously existing non-conforming structure in order to construct a one a single family home as shown on plans filed with this board said property is located at 97 Florence Ave assessors map 94 lot 102 zoned residential who are the voting members uh, the voting members are Rob Mike and myself I think I had uh, Nancy Rob and Joe are oh, you had Joe on this one yeah sorry about that that's okay Okay, sorry about that. So it's Rob, Joe, and me. Okay, uh, name and address, please. Uh, Bruce Panelitis, 218 Foster Road. I'm the president of Tuxbury Home Build. Can you talk on what you're trying to build, please? Yeah, so this lot was um, voted on a town meeting to be uh, used for affordable housing back in 20. 18, I think it was, or actually it might have been 2017. I have the minutes from the meeting, if, if anybody would like them. Um, so we, they, the town then put it up for an RFP. We, we were awarded the RFP. Um, the select board just approved the transfer to us. We haven't done the paperwork yet, but it'll be done in the next few days, we hope. Um, and the goal is basically to demo the existing home and put up a new one in the same footprint. up a bigger home or a smaller home? Same, I know same footprint. Same footprint, two story, same thing. It'll same probably thing. be a three bedroom probably with all, all the bedrooms on the second floor. Mm -hmm. That's our current conceptual plan where um, Rick Ham, our uh, sort of project manager is already working with the building inspector to work on a demo permit and, and get the ball rolling on the permit hoping that this went well. Our, our timeline is compressed. That's why we sort of rushed to get on your ed ed agenda is because uh, Shaw Tech kids generally work and build our homes. So they did that at the South mm -hmm. Street build and we're hoping to get the foundation in the ground fast enough for them to do some work this year in the school year. Nice, it's good for them. 
Thanks, Brent. Yeah, they built the entire home over at 1047 South. That was a separate home that came in front of you maybe three years ago now, four years ago. Yeah, I remember. Different reasons, but. Okay. Any other questions, board? No. It being an open hearing, is there anybody here that would like to speak on this? Okay. No? Somebody? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I make a motion to approve Tewksbury home build on behalf of, Tux of Town of Tewksbury for a special permit under section 8.1.1.C of the Tewksbury zoning bylaw to reconstruct a previously existing non-conforming structure in order to construct a single family home as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 97 Florence Avenue, assesses map 94, lot 102, zoned residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks very much. Well approved. Good Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Is there any old business? Nope. nope. No new business? Okay. Our next meeting is September 29th, uh, 2020. Somebody want to make a motion? 2022. 2022, I apologize. Thank you. Somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? I'd make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.